Welcome back everybody to Desktop Inventions and today we're going to go over my five creative Nintendo Switch game case designs and trust me after today you won't be needing these anymore. Now let's get to the design. All right looks like the print's done let's see how it turned out. Yeah, looks like it spins. That's a good sign. There you go, just like pulling teeth out. Just kidding, I think this is nothing like pulling teeth out. Or at least I don't have any experience with that. All right, I've got the first slot cleaned out here. Let's drop this, uh, drop this game in there and see if it works. So spin it around. Oh, oh, there we go. Yeah, that's going to work pretty well. Pretty slick. All right, so here's the finished print. Got it all cleaned up. This guy just slides onto the base like that. It spins freely. So now we're going to put some games in here and see if it works. Yeah, it works pretty nice. See all the games as they go by and you can uh, select out the one you want. All right, so the original design worked really well, but I made an updated version now. I've added these uh, little knobs to it so it's easier to grab and spin. Let's swap that out and see how that works. Off with the old, in with the new. Oh yeah, that horrible grinding noise you hear in the game. Yeah, that's not bad for them at all. Let's see what we can do to fix that. All right, so we're gonna try and add some tape onto this edge. This is where the friction's coming from and where we hear that uh, awful grinding noise. All right, so I've got tape added to both sides of this ramp, as you can see here. So let's uh, see how that sounds. Yeah, that sounds much better now. All right, done printing the heart case. Let's see how it turned out. Here's the hinging portion. A little bit afraid to see what happens. Oh yeah, not bad. A little bit of delamination there, but not so bad. Now I'll clean up the latch area and see if we can get it to uh, snap together. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. This uh, little snap area with how that was printed here was pretty weak and just broke off as I was trying to depanel it, so. That's not a very stable design for 3D printing, so I'll have to redesign that and uh, come up with a new print. All right, now let's check out version two of this heart-shaped game case. So I've got the nice living hinge there, and now I've replaced the easily broken latch over here with uh, six snap-in features across here. So let's see how that snaps together. Very nice, here a noticeable click. Now let's try it with the game inside. There you go. This heart-shaped game case is the perfect way to gift a game to a friend. And there we go. The magazine holder just finished up. The first print here. This will be the, the top side. This part will break off later. This will be the bottom. That will go into here. And this little piece, of course, is the uh, sliding piece. So I'll slide up in there like that. And here's the long spring I'm going to use. I actually took two springs and soldered them together to make a longer one. That'll attach to this piece here. Looks like this piece broke, so I'll have to fix that. And we'll attach the other end to this base here. All right, so I'll glue it up and gonna dry in place there. We're gonna put the screws on and just hope nothing else goes wrong. And there we go, it's all assembled. Now let's see if we can put some games in here. All right, and to load games into this magazine holder, you'll take the game, push it down on the spring-loaded lip, and then slide it in there. And you can load up to 10 games in this way. All right, to put the games in, First one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Look at that. And I can take them out of there, okay? That is pretty slick. Okay, let's look at the next game holder design. So in this one, the game slides into the top here, it slides down, there's a little lever arm that snaps and holds it into place. This design is extremely secure. The game will not fall out of here. And to release the game, you pry this back and slide it out. So this game holder when assembled is a cube with six sides. So let's put some games in it. There we go, hold six games on the six sides. And now when you can't decide which game you wanna play, you can roll the cube and you can select a game you wanna play. I think the name best suited for this one is the GameCube. Unfortunately, Nintendo already took dibs on that one. And the final and most secretive game holder of all is the Triforce Lockbox. So you may have seen this before. I've done a separate video on this. I can link down below. But this one is a really good uh, game holder to fool your friends. So this one, uh, as you look around it, there's no obvious or easy way to open it. So it's locked. And this one you have to set it down and spin it. And then, and only then, can the lid come off to reveal the hidden games inside. This one has three sliding bolts, as you can see here. And those will lock with the base at any given time. And the only way to unlock all three at the same time is to spin it. And that will have some centrifugal forces that will cause all of them to open at the same time and you can get in your box. And you want to lock up your box, you put the lid back on and it's not down all the way. So you have to spin it and it locks into place. Now your games are securely and safely stored. The Triforce Lockbox. And that's the five unique game case designs. Leave a comment down below to let me know which is your favorite.